Hey gang, Matt with Atlas Precision Consulting. Uh, in today's video, we're going to give a quick overview of the basics of uh, doing an RMA receipt or an R her return receipt. Um, we're starting off in RMA receipts. Um, you need to pick your so source location where you're, where you're bringing that inventory back into. Um, your customer hopefully should have a copy of their RMA acknowledgement. Um, we did this RMA in another video and we're going to take that RMA number and we're going to put that in here. And there's a couple things that happens by default. Uh, by default, it's going to auto check confirm. If I hit save right here um, and everything's right, it would just post it. Um, but I want to show you a couple different things that you may have to do or can do. So by default, I've had a quantity of one. It entered my quantity of one. And by default, it's going to say I'm returning this to stock. If I'm returning it to stock, um, the only other thing I need to do is I need to go to my lot bin tab. Um, I need to put in the correct lot, which this one only has one lot in the system. I need to enter in the bin that I'm going to return it into and how many of those are going into that bin. Um, now, if I come back over here and let's say, well, I'm not taking this return. When you see that, you'll see that the quantity to adjust and quantity to the supplier have now opened up. So I'm going to put a quantity of one in here. And in theory, if you had received multiples, you could be returning them to different places. Uh, so when you change to adjustment, it immediately takes you to the adjustment tab and whatever reasons that you have in there, you would enter it. And when you post this, it's going to, it's going to give the customer back a, a credit. And then it's also going to post an inventory adjustment to take that item right back out of inventory. Uh, you will still need to do a lot bin on here as well. You would just obviously put it in the to adjust quantity. Um, so we're gonna come back here to the front tab and we're going to kind of repeat that again. We're going to clear out quantity to adjust. We're going to put in quantity to supplier. Now you'll see the inventory return tab pop up and it's going to default to the primary supplier for that item for that location. If it happens to be another supplier, you can obviously change that. And if you know the purchase order cost, uh, you can do that. I do recommend maybe some permission based, uh, uh, Dyna changes on these if you don't want everybody to have access to that. Um, you don't need to mark complete. Um, complete will mark automatically once you save and confirm this if the full quantity is returned. Now, for some reason, if they had said they were going to return 10, but they only returned eight and it's going to be done, you could do your eight and then mark it as complete and it'll cancel those last two on that RMA. Um, so we're going to come in here and we're going to do our lot bin. Again, I only have one lot in here. I'm going to pull up my bin that I'm going to return it to, which in this case, we only have receiving bin in there. I'm going to put my quantity of one to that bin, and then I'm going to click save. And so that will go out now and create a invoice for that RMA. So that customer now has a credit on their account. Um, that is the basics of doing an RMA receipt. If you guys have any questions about this, or if you have questions about anything, put a comment down below. Make sure you like and subscribe. And as always, Atlas will be here for your Profit 21 needs. Thanks, guys.